So Osio Gallery is again a free extension, but there is a commercial version and that is just going to drive you crazy. So go ahead and click on the X to get rid of that. The instructions are fairly simple. Upload the images you want to show to a Google Plus album, create one or more menu item associated with the gallery and choose the skin. To create a new category, create a new menu item and then throw in the ID code of the Google Plus page where your album is. Can't be much more simple than that, right? So I'm going to go to a menu, main menu, and add a new menu item. I'm going to call this my photo gallery. I've already uploaded some images to Google Plus. Click select. And right down here is Ozio Gallery 4. Choose the skin. And I'm going to choose Fuerte. I'm going to leave it in the main menu simply because this is just a demo site. Click on the options. This skin only works on Google Plus photo albums, therefore it requires you to specify a valid Google Plus ID and album. So how do we find these things? Well, let's go ahead over to my Google Plus page and I'm going to click on my name. This is my OS training Google Plus profile. Your Google Plus ID is in the URL of your browser. So I'm going to grab this 21 digit number, copy it and paste it here. Now I've marked this album as private and now I need to go and get the Google Plus album ID. It's a 19 digit number shown in the URL of the browser when you're in the actual gallery. So let me go into the gallery and this is the number I need there. An authorization key, if you want to use an album with a limited visibility, fill in the authorization key. That is also available here in the URL. Authorization key equals CL24, etc. And I'm going to plug that in there. Another way to find your authorization key, which sometimes may not be visible up here in the URL, is to simply click on the Edit My Album go to the end of the share via link and you'll see the authorization key right there. Copy and paste. And your authorization key will allow you to access your limited albums. And I'm going to leave all the rest of the options as they are for now. We'll just take a quick peek and see if this worked. Click Save and Close. And click on Photo Gallery. And here's my photo gallery. These pictures are from the Warbirds Over Indiana Radio Controlled Airplane Show up in Muncie, Indiana in August of 2014. It was a pretty amazing day taking pictures of all of these really expensive, fun planes. Most of the wingspans were between six and eight feet. That jet you see there flies at about 240 miles an hour. Uh, it was a lot of fun that day. I can make it into a slideshow. I can get the information from any image that has been uploaded. And this is really great. You'll see that I took everything with my iPhone 5. And so all of the information regarding the image is right there. Now I uploaded pretty small images because I wanted this to go quickly. I can also allow these to be downloaded. If I click on Google Plus, it takes me over to the actual album at Google Plus. So this is actually pretty slick. In the next video, let's take a look at all of the options that we can use.